Hi everybody, this is Oleg. Check out this pile of snow. It's really warm over here in New Hampshire. Not too far away from, about 20 miles away from Rochester, New Hampshire. It's my first time over here in the state ever. It's like 50 some degrees, but look at this pile of snow. They must have had a ton. But at the moment the weather is amazing. You know, just driving around New Hampshire, I kind of knew it anyway, but I noticed this would be a great place for bugging out. For anyone who is like in the Boston area, this would be an excellent place to bug out. You know, not too many people, great, nice woods around here. Uh, I'm not sure if there is any nuclear targets around here. I mean, Boston probably would be, or New York City for sure. But if you go further up, or if it's not a nuclear war, if it's just some other crisis, then this place would be excellent. It's really beautiful and uh, beautiful and empty-ish. You know, even, even this truck stop that I'm at right now, this truck stop has only 60 parkings and it's already after 4 p.m. and it's still, there is a lot of spots left. Over here, just a few, but if you go on the other side of that truck over there, there will be lots of space. Anyway, um, <clears throat> what I wanted to talk to you about is uh, something that all of us really should try to put to test and that would be ourselves that would be ourselves and like in, in which way you might ask you know we talk about bugging out a lot you know i do i think about it a lot i think it's inevitable eventually however many of you of course have gone camping and uh I have, most of you probably have, and that's great. However, have you tried going camping with just limited supplies? Basically, <clears throat> try to go camping with your bug out bag and see how you can survive. Take some freeze dry food with you, uh, take whatever's necessary for survival, but try not to use it. See if you can actually, you know, catch the fish or kill a rabbit or try to survive on a food that you would, you know, provide for yourself without touching your supplies in your bug out bag and see how that would work out. Because chances are Chances are you're not ready for it, you know. I, I'm not sure if I'm ready for it. Probably not. But I think this would be a good idea for all of us to try to do it, you know. Or even something simple like, you know, put a few gallons of water in your backpack. Pretend it's your bug out bag. Make sure it weighs at least 20 pounds. If it weighs more, 30 even better and try to go over that backpack for a hike try to walk 20 miles can you do it if you can then you probably are <clears throat> on your way of being ready to bug out anyway something to think about it you know because once it happens it's like it's like thief at night you know the bible talks about it and it's true story, you know, obviously it's true story. You know, we don't expect thief to come. We hope they don't, but if they do, are you ready? Do you know what to do in that event? Same thing here, yeah, we theoretically we know what to do. But do we know what to do practically? I'm willing to say 90% of us probably don't know 
practically, you know, theoretically, myself included. I have some practice, but not enough. For sure, not enough. <clears throat> anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. This pile of snow is melting slowly. And uh, I'll talk to you in the next upload. Let me know in the comments what you think about it. <clears throat> Don't forget to like, subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. Take care.